want you
This is the end of our year together. The hard work is paid off, but the hard work is not over. There's a saying that goes, the finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. And from here, it's nothing but up. Now, to the moment you've all been waiting for. We are here, we've made it. The finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. Together, we can move mountains. And from here, it's nothing but up. Continue to be hungry, continue to have drive, and do not question your journey. We are here, we've made it. Now, to the moment you've all been waiting for. And from here, it's nothing but up. Welcome graduates, family, and friends. My name is Yasin Ayub, and I'm a member of Europe's graduating class of summer 2023, and it's my pleasure to kick off tonight's virtual graduation. Since its founding in 2000, Europe has opened up, opened up over 30 campuses across the country and has served more than 30,000 young adults, including the 23 graduates whose accomplishments we're celebrating tonight. My fellow graduates and I spent months learning essential skills and completing technical coursework in business fundamentals, application development, and support, and even help desk slash desktop, desktop support. Then we spent the last few months in an internship with leading employers such as JP Morgan Chase, E-Trade, Bank of America, and New York Life Insurance. Today you will hear from graduates and staff that are part of our Europe Tampa Bay learning community. And what is a learning community, you ask? A learning community is a group of students and staff, which is a key support structure that contributes to our successful program model here at Europe. First, I'd like to kick off this celebration by sharing my journey and how it led me to be graduating today. As you all know, my name is Yasin Ayub, and I'm currently 18 years old and a member of the Europe program. I have lived in St. Pete my entire life. I've watched this community grow and change before my very eyes. This place is my home, and every accomplishment or drawback I've ever experienced was right here in St. Pete, including the challenges that I faced education-wise, economically, socially, and, and struggling with my mental health. I dropped out of high school at 15. I faced struggles at home and in school, namely my issues with addiction. I was addicted to Percocet, a highly potent painkiller. And it's been three years now, over. Um, three years since I've been sober. It's been a really long journey since then. And when I say to you all that it was one of the most painful, challenging, but somehow rewarding experiences, uh, story, I, I genuinely mean it. It taught me something that I can't quite put into words. So I, I writ I written something down that kind of sums it up the best I can. It taught me to appreciate the fragility and uncertainty of life how to laugh when times are tough, and how to enjoy life for the simple pleasures. I had to start over. I had to learn to feel like a normal person again. To be a complete version of me and, and to deal with my problems rather than, than drowning in them. But I feel satisfaction knowing I was not only able to survive, but thrive amidst those issues. Because without all this hardship and a new appreciation for life, I don't know if I would have found my purpose and a sense of inner tenacity and community like I did with Europe. Europe changed my life. It gave me a platform in which I could succeed. I, I actually found out about Europe uh, less than a year, a year ago in, in July. Uh, during this time, I was actually attending courses to get my GED. Uh, when I first heard about this program, I questioned their legitimacy and their intentions. I mean, it seemed almost too good to be true. A, a shot of redemption, a way of, to get an affordable education, and they would pay me to go to school. But little did I know, by signing up, I'd be making one of the best decisions of my life. In so many ways, this program has bettered me. I started to view problems differently, how to communicate more effectively, and to have a little confidence in my own ability. Confidence is the less apparent, equally important skill. Uh, it, I honestly think that confidence in yourself, your ideas, and what you stand for is ultimately one of the most important things about you. It's who you are. And to a lot of people, confidence doesn't come off as skill-like, but to me, 
It's the antithesis of skill. It is something to master and hone. It builds every day. And I mean, come on, it's useful. It's useful personally and professionally. And that's probably my biggest takeaway with Europe is a little confidence in my own ability. Now, this all sounds amazing, but I'm not saying Year Up is this magical tool to help all young adults in their life around, you know, turn their life around and improve their self-esteem. But rather, it's an environment in which the necessary tools to succeed are presented for you. All the skills I'm learning, connections I'm making, and confidence that I'm building came from within. Year Up is just a, a platform in which I could succeed. And they gave me this platform. This program takes persistence. It's not some free ticket to the top. Don't mistake it. It will take hard work and it will take sweat equity, but you have an entire web of like-minded people who want you to succeed. It's important to remember, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. It's an honor to be part of such a wonderful community, and I really appreciate you all for allowing me to share my piece. And I would now like to introduce the site director for our Tampa Bay campus, Latanya Hines. Thank you, Yassine. I want to start by thanking everyone here who has supported our graduates in their journey. Those graduating here today and those that came before them, our family and friends, our volunteers, donors, the corporate partners, our community partners, and our college partner, St. Petersburg College Midtown. And of course, the awesome staff of Europe Tampa Bay. And most importantly, thank you, graduates. Now, I am excited to hear from our keynote speaker today, the powerful message from Mr. Christopher Steinoker. He is the president and CEO of the St. Petersburg Area Chamber of Commerce. So let's get ready to hear his keynote speech. Hello again, everybody. I'm Chris Steinacker, President and CEO of the St. Petersburg Area Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations on an exciting event, exciting night, a great opportunity, and only the rest of your life. Um, I am just wishing, first of all, that I was in person with all of you, because the time we spent together early on, getting to know you guys just a little bit, about really seeing in your eyes what you were hopeful of and how far you've come and how many people cared about you to get you there and how much you showed you cared about yourself. Uh, those are the moments in life that are the most rewarding for the rest of us. So while this is a celebration for you and where you're going and what you're doing next, this is also a celebration to know that you're never alone, no matter how far you go. So as we've talked about before as well, I think part of this is about a faith that you have in yourself and your community. But then, now that you're geared up and you got things going your way, I really want you to start thinking about the next step for you, which is like, how are you going to make an impact? What are you really going to do in life? Where are your fingerprints and footprints going to be seen? Who will know that you're on this earth? Here's a few people that I want you to make sure know that you're on this earth. It's your family because they care the most. So as far as you go in life, Keep your family as close as you can at all times. They are the ones we all do this for. You have that responsibility. Also, I really want you to find some passion in the community you choose to live in. I've chosen to live in St. Pete, as you know. We have fallen in love with the opportunity to make sure our fingerprints and our footprints are part of everything we do. I hope you find that community. I hope it could be St. Pete. If it is, we're looking forward to helping you get plugged in to that. It's the commitment of our chamber that the sun shines on everybody who lives and works and plays here in our community. That means you too. But with living in prosperity, it does create some responsibilities. It's my own personal belief. We all come here to create. You have now learned that you can be a creator too. It is up to you to create that. We are not here to complain. We are not here to point and say, do this or do that. We are here as humans to make this life better for everybody. So whatever you do, whatever career path you take, choose one that allows you for the next 40 or 50 or 30 or 20, if you're lucky, years of your life 
to feel like you've made that journey towards something more meaningful for yourself, for your family, and this community. Those first steps you took already this last year and, and longer have, have made you where you're at today. These next steps are those that you're gonna find are even gonna be more rich with opportunities because it's gonna require you and ask, actually it is not only required of you, it's the only way this is gonna happen is you have to create the reality for yourself. Many people live in our communities and think that they can just consume what's going on, that they can just sit back and watch as the world turns. What I've learned is those who are the happiest, that have find the most fulfillment, that have the most heliotropic healing in their life are those who are looking to fulfill more meaningful purposes. It's in every one of us. But what we need is confidence and care, courage and care that we can do it. I hope you now understand through this Year Up program and all those you've met, all those who've mentored and coached you and interned you and hired you, I hope you now understand they are there. There's more of those folks to come. And now you are going to become part of those folks. You're the one that's going to help others come up the ladder. You're the one that's going to help others identify what they can do. You're the ones that are going to give courage and strength to those around you because you've been through it now. That makes you stronger. That's the next step for all of us. I'm so excited that Year Up is here in our community and throughout helping people do this. This is what we all need. This is a tough life that we all live, but you can find the resources. As I've said before, what resilience really is, is not how long can you hang on to the edge. Resilience is how many folks you can find to help you when you need it and how you ask for that assistance. You've done that so far, and now you're about to do the next steps of this and pay some of that back. So from a Chamber of Commerce, I can only wait to see how wonderfully successful you become. And when you become wildly successful, remember our agreement that you have to adopt me because I'm adoptable too. So I want to see people create amazing wealth for themselves, but I also want to see people do really well for our community, really be proud of their time on this earth. You're on a good start. Congratulations. Let's celebrate together. Thank you. And again, I appreciate everybody's contribution to this program. Thank you for your inspiring words, Chris. My name is Jillian Fowler, the Recruitment Manager for Tampa Bay. At every year of Tampa Bay graduation, we come together to celebrate the extraordinary accomplishments of the young adults who displayed the motivation and perseverance needed to complete this program and prepare for their next career stage. And at each graduation, we have the privilege to recognize certain students who went above and beyond in their year up journey making a significant impact on their fellow students and staff in their learning community. Our first two awards honor Chris Mello and Dave Reddick, two early members of the Europe community who lost their lives in the September 11th attacks. A learning community student is selected for each of these awards. First, please join me in congratulating the recipient of the Chris Mello Award for Leadership, Harley Laskar. Next, it is my honor to announce the recipient of the Dave Reddick Award for Excellence, Helen Dominguez. And now I would like to pass things over to my colleague, Wanda Horde. Thank you, Jill. Our next award is the Core Values Award, given to one member of the learning community who truly embodies Europe's core values, respect and value others, build trust and be honest, engage and embrace diversity, be accountable, strive to learn and work hard, have fun. Through their everyday actions, this graduate embodies all of this and more. Congratulations to the summer 2023 recipient of the Year Up Core Values Award, Deshaun Riley. Next, I'm so proud to announce the recipient of the Year Up Perseverance Award, an award given to a student who with tenacity, grit, and heart has seized opportunity in the face of challenges and adversity. 
their persistence is a positive example to the rest of the learning community, showing that with hard work and determination, we can get through even the toughest of times. Please join me in honoring Yasin Ayub. And now I'd like to pass things over to Tom Vogel, Director of Corporate Engagement. Thank you, Wanda. I am humbled and excited to announce two awards this evening. First is the Award for Outstanding Community Champion. This award is given to a community partner organization that has stepped forward to add value for Year Up Tampa Bay and expand our reach and mission through their efforts. It is my honor to present the July 2023 Tampa Bay Year Up Community Champion Award to New York Life and the team of Trina Martin, Monique Rivera-Helms, Tim Dumont, Lori Janarone, and Valdi Dobrilla. New York Life stepped forward and graciously hosted our orientation activities for three days to launch Class 9 Year Up students. Your team gifted us not only with the use of the space, but also technology support and some staff and intern speakers during our sessions. Our students and staff were completely blown away by the space layout and the resources that your team provided. Thank you, New York Life Tampa, for your thoughtful contributions of space, your staff and volunteers, and your willingness to lean in with the Year Up organization. We honor and appreciate the partnership. Now our final award for the night, the Cornerstone Award. It is presented at each graduation to an individual or organization that embodies Year Up's mission to close the opportunity divide. Cornerstone Award winners go above and beyond to change minds about what's truly possible in this country by supporting our students, staff, and organization at Year Up as a whole. Tampa Bay is extremely happy to celebrate our Cornerstone Award winner, Mary Bershey from J.P. Morgan Chase. Mary serves as the Tampa Site Director for J.P. Morgan, leading both social and volunteer opportunities for the firm in Tampa, in addition to her operational leadership role. She has directly invested in our local Year Up Tampa Bay students by hosting an intern on her team personally and serving as host and guide for all 14 of our JPMC interns. She coordinated space and facilitation during in-person meet and greets. She helped during onboarding activities during orientation. And she also assisted in setup and facilitation of the midway check-in lunch. Deeper than that, Mary has offered a listening ear and resource to this group of students in a way that encouraged confidence and career motivation for our young adults. She rolled up her sleeves to help resolve onboarding challenges and really any issue that our students have brought her way. Mary has also spread the good word about Year Up with her colleagues and the senior leadership at the firm in Tampa to create new pathways to advance the local partnership. This evangelization truly embodies the year up commitment to close the opportunity divide. Congratulations and thank you, Mary Bershey. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce Janae Landers, Enrollment Manager. Thank you, Tom, and congratulations to all of our award winners. 
And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, or at least the moment I've been waiting for. Graduates, please open the boxes that were given to you before the ceremony. Among other things, you will find inside your official year up graduation certificate, a testament to the past year of hard work, talent, and determination that has brought you all through this journey to the next stage of your professional careers. And now our site director will recognize each of our graduates. Yasin Ayu, Year Up Intern at E-Trade. Brian Bell, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Shania Breedlove, Year Up Intern at Bank of America. Fernando Criolo, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Daron Da Silva, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Tyrell Dindy, Year Up Intern at E-Trade. Helen Dominguez, Year Up Intern at E-Trade. Nadja Gibbs, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Roderick Jacoda, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Lamani Joseph, Year Up Intern at New York Life Insurance Company. Krishan Julius, Year Up Intern at New York Life Insurance Company. Amanda Lang, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Harley Loscar, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Liana Lerano Solano, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Joshua Liz Martinez, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Jonathan Marshall, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Brian Miller, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Mark Roming, Year Up Intern at E-Trade. Deshaun Riley, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Eliana Rodriguez, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Chris Schofield, Year Up Intern at E-Trade. Miguel Zapata, Year Up Intern at J.P. Morgan Chase. Hello Year Up graduates, family and friends. My name is Ty Nguyen and I'm a proud alum from the class of summer 2021. First, I want to congratulate all the graduates on achieving this incredible milestone. One of the best things about today is that you complete this journey as students and you will start the next one as alumni. Europe has over 24,000 alumni across the country with the power to shape the future. Together, we can move mountains, but it requires each of us to commit to lifting while we climb. Our alumni oath is our vow to do just that. By reciting this oath, you officially join the National Alumni Association, a network of leaders who are advancing in their careers in education, contributing to the success of Europe's mission, and taking action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. Please join me and your fellow alumni in making that commitment by saying the oath now. I pledge that as a member of the Europe National Alumni Association, I will continue to uphold and promote Europe's mission and core values. I will strive for excellence and realize my potential. I will use my time and my talent to contribute to the success of Yura. Its students and its alumni. I will take action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. I take this oath freely as a promise to live while I climb and to be a lifelong ambassador of Yura. Hello, I'm Janice Lazy and I'm the National Director of Alumni Relations at Year Up. On behalf of all of us at Year Up and the Alumni Relations team, I'd like to welcome you to the National Alumni Association. Everything you've done along your Year Up journey has been in preparation for the day you become alumni. And now you're entering the third and longest phase of the program. 
As students and interns, you proved that you were epic. And now that you are graduates, it's time for you to act. The alumni relations team and all of Year Up will be here to support you as you advance in your career and higher education, contribute to the success of Year Up, and take action in the opportunity movement. And UPRO will be here to support you as the primary job placement agency for Year Up graduates. To learn more about resources, services, and support available to alumni, please visit yearupalumni.org. Today, as you graduate, you join more than 23,000 alumni across the country, and you, we hope that you will remain engaged members of the alumni community. Most importantly, we hope that you will continue to lift while you climb. Congratulations and welcome to the National Alumni Association. Wow, what an awesome celebration. Today we stand here ready to take hold of this new journey filled with endless possibilities and boundless opportunities. This is a moment of celebration, reflection, and gratitude. Looking back to your learning and development phase, we can't help but marvel at how far you've come. It is a testament of our resilience, perseverance, and determination. We have discovered the power of collaboration, the beauty of diversity, the strength that lies within us when we dare to dream big. Congratulations, Tampa Bay class of summer 2023. May your futures be filled with success, happiness, and a profound sense of purpose. Thank you.